Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the oh-so-infamous 502 bad gateway error on Nginx. Now, there is a few ways that this error could happen. We're gonna go through a couple of them in this video, but if that's something we wanna learn how to fix, then let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial here. And as you can see, we do have that 502 bad gateway error on our Nginx server at this website here, this IP address. And uh, the goal here is to fix it. So let's go ahead and log into our Nginx uh, web server via SSH. And as you can see here, I went ahead and did that prior to starting this video. And basically, in a nutshell, this error uh, most of the time comes from Nginx's inability to communicate with either the whatever terminology you want to use, like the upstream server or the PHP FPM server or the fast CGI server. Um, so basically Nginx is having trouble communicating with PHP. Now let's look at our uh, Nginx configuration file in order to, to like determine what's actually going on here. So that's usually at var, no, no I'm sorry, that's not a var, etc Nginx sites available. And I only have one configuration file here called default. And specifically what we want to look for is something to do with our PHP location block here. And a lot of Nginx configuration files look different. Um, so just what we're looking for is either fast CGI pass, something like this, specifically this line right here for our cases. So the, the first thing I suggest that you do is to check that um, either uh, this file exists and if it doesn't, then we have to do something about that. So let's look on our file system for run PHP, PHP 7.2 FPM sock. So let's go ahead and get out of here and do ls uh, run PHP, PHP, and I'm doing the tab complete here. So if we, if we just list out this directory, we'll see that we have PHP 7.0 installed on our system, not 7.2. So there's a couple different ways we can fix this. We can either install PHP version 7.2 or modify our Nginx configuration file to point to the actual uh, socket file that exists on our file system. So let's do that. That's the easiest option in this case. So instead of Nginx looking for PHP 7.0, let's have it look for the actual file that exists on our file system, PHP 7.0-fpm.soc. And again, this, this could be different for whatever's on your file system versus mine. So um, because uh, we made a change to our configuration file, we should restart or reload Nginx. So let's do a system CTL restart Nginx, hit enter, and we don't see any output, no errors or anything like that. So we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and refresh our page and we will see that that 502 bad gateway error has gone away. Now, like I said, there's a few different ways that these 502 bad gateway errors can happen. Um, that was one of them. Let's see another one here. And it's kind of along the same lines as what we've just seen before. Um, what if the PHP FPM service in the background wasn't even running? That could also cause a 502 bad gateway error. So let's, let's stop that service. Let's do system CTL. Uh, PHP 7.0-FPM stop. I'm um, sorry, this this is uh, not system CTL, this is service. PHP, let's see if it taps complete. Yep, 7.0-FPM stop. Okay, so that let us stop the service, uh, the PHP FPM service. And if we refresh the website now, Nginx cannot con communicate with the PHP service, so uh, we get the 502 bad gateway error. And obviously the simple fix in this case is to start that back up. So we can do PHP uh, service PHP 7.0.fpm start, hit enter, and that should be running now. And we can uh, check this again, refresh the page, and we're back to a normal working um, website running on Nginx. So guys, um, again, this is a, not a comprehensive uh, video, but this is some of the most common ways that you can see a 502 bad gateway error with Nginx. So uh, if you still have questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll try my best to help you out. Um, otherwise, if you did get value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this from me in the future, definitely consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.